Hello, my name is Frank Hawkman and I study design interactions at the Royal College of Art. The project I've been working on is called Open Surgery. Open Surgery investigates whether designing DIY surgical tools outside of the scope of regulated healthcare systems could plausibly provide a more accessible version of healthcare. On display is a DIY surgical robot that I've built myself from off-the-shelf parts and by using easily accessible technologies like 3D printing and laser cutting. The type of surgery this machine is theoretically capable of performing is called keyhole surgery. Keyhole surgery could be used to do any type of surgery in the lower abdomen. Very common ones are sort of operations on the prostate uh, or also appendectomies or hysterectomies even. The machine uses ABS arms that are 3D printed. All the electronics on the machine uh, to control the motors are basically sourced from the 3D printer community. So essentially the same electronics that drive a, a domestic 3D printer drive this surgical robot. All the other parts are basically off the shelf and, and ordered online. And sort of by bringing all of these parts together, you're able to create a semi-functioning surgery machine. Right now the machine is just running through a series of semi-randomized movements that show the capabilities of the movements of the machine. But the idea would be that it would normally be controlled by a human. I'm proposing that this surgery robot could in fact be controlled by a PlayStation 3 controller simply because it's available and has all the right degrees of freedom to be able to control such a device. Developing this machine took me about five months to do and cost me around 5,000 US dollars. However, that compares to $10,000 for a single appendectomy in the US right now uh, and around 2 million for a, a professional surgery robot. The intentions of this machine are not to actually perform any type of operations, but more to provoke alternative ways of thinking of medical innovation by taking it outside of this socio-economic framework that it operates in. Even in first world countries like the US, uh, healthcare is increasingly getting inaccessible to large numbers of people. And what is happening now is that these people turn to YouTube to share DIY tutorials on how to perform medical hacks on themselves. And although this is quite a controversial idea, uh, I couldn't help but wonder what would happen if you would supply this, this group of people that have no alternative at this point with more capable tools outside of healthcare regulations. I do believe there is room for DIY surgical tools, especially in areas where there is no uh, alternative at this point at all.